Hey, you guys, I'm trying to be brief because I'm running a little late to my doctor's office. I'm sitting outside my doctor's office, and I just want to make sure I'm vlogging everything because this is my surgery vlog. I'm also vlogging my get ready with me and my birthday vlog, but this one right here is my surgery vlog. I'm about to go in my doctor's office, and he's about to do a physical, run some tests, and request for me to get lab work done for my surgery because if you get surgery out of the country, they want you to get sur um, your labs done before you come so you just know where you are. So I'm going to take you guys along with me so let's go okay you guys i'm in the um, room i'm just a regular room you see and she just finished taking my height and my weight and my blood pressure which my blood pressure was really good it was um 124 over 82 i'm not saying my weight which i gained a couple pounds which i was trying to gain at least 10 pounds for surgery so it, i wouldn't look like an ant you guys know the ant look i'm a insert so you guys can know the ant look and i'm 5'3 which i already hey you guys i'm just leaving my doc's office it is raining outside so i'm going to make this quick he basically okay surgery and i had to get my ekg done there which was perfect he also told me before i do surgery he wants me to read a book by somebody called Michael. I got, can't think of a name. I'm going to probably put the book down below. It's called How Not to Die. And he told me basically like if if I'm going to be committed, then he approving it. But if I'm not going to be committed and I'm not going to eat healthy, I'm not going to do the right things, then it's no point in me getting cosmetic surgery. But I'm so pumped, you guys. I was so nervous. I did not think he was going to approve it, but he approved it and I'm happy. But I've got to do lab work tomorrow because I got to fast before I do it. And yeah, that's all. So I'll pick you guys back up when I have another update. Probably when I'm packing or when I'm buying stuff or something where I'm about to talk about surgery again. So I'll see you guys later. Hey, you guys. It's March the 29th, 9, 10 a.m. I'm outside of lab court getting lab work done. This is for my surgery vlog. I'm supposed to leave for surgery Sunday, you guys. It is Tuesday. I'm supposed to leave Sunday. But I don't even know if I'm going to have to postpone it or not. Um, I had a passport, but I had to get a replacement, and I, it still has not come yet. So if it does not come by Wednesday, I'm going to try to go to um, D.C. and get another one that way. But that means it's like I spent almost $600 on a passport. Like, it's crazy. And that's all because my dog ate it, you guys. Ugh. But right now, I'm about to go get this lab work done. This is the um, labs that he ordered for me to get done. I hope you guys can see it. But those are the labs that he ordered for me to get done. And then I got to go to my doctor's office to pick up my clearance letter. And also to see if he can um, write me the prescription for all the medication I need. So I'm going to pick you guys back up. Hopefully he can write all the prescriptions I need because that cut costs so much. Because I see some people say they spend between $150 to $350. On medication so that will be one less thing I have to worry about when I get there um but if I don't get my passport you guys I am gonna postpone it maybe a week or two I am gonna keep you guys updated but yep let's go actually guys I had to get blood work girl once I find a vein <laughs> boy if it's from And I drank water. And just like that, we got it. Almost. Almost. I'm say, I got it though. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, y'all. So, I got it to a urine sample. And then after that, I'm going to go to my doctor's office and I'm going to pick y'all back up there. Y'all, that was quick. It's 940. I got here at 910, so it was not, like, literally, I was in and out. And I'm so surprised because this location is so busy, and I didn't have an appointment. I just walked in, so that was good. So now I'm rushing to my doctor's office. They said it will take uh, 24 to 48 hours for it to show up. I have my chart. You guys need to download my chart if you don't have it. It's such an easy way for them for you to see your results. So, I'll pick you guys back up when I get to my doctor's office. Hey, you guys. It is March 31st, 921. I just dropped the kids off at school and daycare. And I just want to get, give you guys a quick update while I'm outside my doctor's office. My uh, my surgery date was for April the 6th. And I was supposed to be leaving. Be leaving I can't talk this morning. I was supposed to be leaving this 
Sunday, but I, me and my sister decided to push out surgery back. So now my new surgery date is May the 10th, and I will be leaving May the 7th. So I will be in the DR from May 7th to May 22nd. I'm also at my doctor's office now because I was going to pick my clearance letter up, which I never picked up, and um, ask if he could pres um, prescribe me the prescriptions that I'll need, like the medicine, the antibiotics, all that, so I don't have to pay in the DR. So, I'm going to pick you guys back up another day because I think this is it that I got to do for my surgery today. And I, Or if they let me know yes or no about my prescription, I'll let you guys know. But I'll see you guys later. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Cole. And it is May the 3rd, Tuesday. Whoa. I'm in the middle of doing the junior day nails. I want to say prom so bad, but she's not going to prom yet. But it's junior day, and I'm doing her nails. Anywho, um... I told y'all I was in my surgery group. Well, one of the girls in my surgery group said how she got kicked out of um, the DR at the airport. She had her money wrapped in saran or something. So I was terrified, you guys. I was just about to back out of surgery. So I'm telling my sister, and I'm just, like, so terrified. So my mom winds up calling me, and I'm telling her, like, Mom, I'm so terrified, blah, 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 blah. Why is she surprising me and coming to the DR, y'all, the day of my surgery? I am so happy. I am so excited. I am so so I just wanted to say that the countdown is real. I have four days until I board my plane. Hey, you guys! It is May the fifth, and I leave for surgery on Saturday, May the seventh. So excited, you guys! I have not picked you guys up since my the day before my birthday, and I had said that that was my surgery hair. Well, I had to push my surgery back from April to May. So, you guys, it's a definite. I'm going, I'm actually headed right now to go get my hair done. So, I'll pick you guys back up after I get my hair done. So, excuse the mess. And this will be my surgery. Hey, you guys, I made it to the airport. So much stuff has happened since I last picked you guys up. So, yesterday, well, I didn't even show you guys my hair, but this is my hair. But so. Yesterday, I wound up hydroplaning because it was raining really bad, and my whole tire fell off my car. Like, it cracked. Like, you know how the tires been held up? It cracked. So, my I had to get a tow to my dad's job. So, I'm waiting to see what's the damages to that because Lord knows, y'all, I don't got it. So, right now, I'm at the airport because, yes, I know y'all probably like, oh, you still wait? Yes, I still went to surgery. So... I guess I'm still going to surgery because I'm at the airport now. I done made it through TSA and all that, which is, was so easy, you guys. It was so fast. They say come, I guess, three to four hours early if you're fly, flying international. But literally, it took me five minutes to do everything. Doom, 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 boom. I was, the only thing took long was me getting here. So as you guys can see outside, I'm just waiting. It is 1.09 now. Um, my flight doesn't take off to 5.30. I'm due to be in the Dominican Republic by 9.08. And I guess I'm just gonna pick you guys up then. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna try to eat because I heard that food is so nasty. So for my last real meal, I'm gonna try to eat something. And I'm also gonna try to change my flight because I'm supposed to leave May the 22nd. And I feel like that's too long. I don't wanna stay that long. So I'm gonna try to see if I can leave like the 18th or the 17th. So I'm about to see if I can change my flight for free. If I can't, then I'm just going to keep it. But if I can't, then think, oh, I'm just going to change it. And I also want a straight flight. I don't want to do no layovers, especially after surgery. And I'm going to be all down and stuff. So, but I'm going to try to eat. And then I'm going to try to change my flight. And I'm going to download, like, some movies and some books. Because I know I'm going to be bored there. Girl, I'll pick you guys back up later. Money is I gotta carry all this money and this little safe with me. Like it's so scary. You guys, this is what I wore to the airport. This is about to be gone. Side view. And it might pack you guys. This is my airport fit. It's freezing, you guys. I get in the bathroom to show you guys this. And also to um count my money to make sure everything is fine. And I came into a private bathroom, so I don't have to worry about nobody in there.
oxygen is needed on today's flight. Remove any face covering before putting on your oxygen mask. Should you need it, you'll find the life vest with the water activated light in a pouch under or between your seats. Hey you guys, it is now May the 8th. It's my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Bink. And it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to me. But I made it to the DR last night. I got here like 9.05. I got through the airport. It was at the recovery house by 10 o'clock, which um, was so quick, so easy. They even sent me to immigration, which was easy. Um, I got back to the recovery house. I met one of my surgery sisters. She's lovely. I love her. And she's not in the room. I'm actually in the room by myself. And I think it's because my mother is coming. But so I'm here. Um, I'm going to show you guys a tour of my room. And then I'm going to get left this morning. It is now 7.20. I'm waiting for my driver, who name is Junior. So let's get it to you guys. But this is the door that you go in, the little side. So I'll act like I caved in. So this is from the angle. That's my bed. That's where my mother sleeps at, a dresser. This is the bathroom, which I don't like this bit right here because after surgery, it's gonna be like so hard for me to like get in and stuff. Trash can, regular toilet, they had a little push on this side. A little mirror window, okay. My toothbrush hair glue for my lashes, baby, I think. The shower was cute. It was a nice size bathroom. The shower, the water got hot for me. My tub soap, my wash rag, the shower. It was nice. It was cool. I haven't experienced the books. I have not got bit, but my surgery sister says she got bit. So that was my luggage. I had to put that away. The book bag that I'm taking with me, which I have my safe in there, my two chargers. But you guys, I left one charger on the plane. I'm so mad at myself. This is a TV. I haven't even turned it on. Um, the dresser, the safe. I don't even know how this come out. I have to play with it. Another closet space. Oh, I guess what she use. So basically, this is the room. I'll give you guys a tour of the surgery house. Okay, okay, you guys, I'm in the car outside of the recovery house. It is now 8.45, and I'm headed to go do my labs, um, blood work, and all that good stuff. I will pick up and record then. Um... It's so beautiful. I will pick up and record then. I did bring a pen and a pad just so I can write down everything so I won't forget anything and I won't forget the prices of anything. But yeah, I'll be there. Oh, you can talk to the girl. Go. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do a tour of the recovery house. So this is where you enter. This is pretty. You can go up the stairs. This is the dining room. Say hi, Jenny. <laughs> the kitchen. Back here, I haven't been, but I think it's just laundry back there. I'm not gonna go back there. So look at the window, you guys. They're so nice. And I'm staying at Ocean's Recovery, which was in my packet. Okay, so I think my room is the only room down here because this is my room. I did not unpack yet, but I think I already showed you guys my room. This looks like it's a bar. Oh, actually, it's a room right here, you guys. This was nice. Jenny, did you see this room right here? It's really nice. I wonder if we can go over. Yeah, it's a room. I wonder if they get a massage. No, that's a room room. Okay. Maybe the bathroom. Sorry. Somebody's in there. 
Okay, now you can go up the stairs. This is like a lounge area. Okay, the balcony. Look how pretty this is. With the barbed wire right there, it's like a pretty prison. But it's so pretty. They had a grill right there. You come. I think it's somebody's room, but it opens to the balcony. This is nice. And it's really not that hot, you guys, or humid here. Well, right now it's not anyway. You guys can see the beach right there. Okay, we're coming back in. Okay, these are rooms. I'm not gonna go in anybody's room. Hello, how are you? I have a YouTube channel, so I'm just trying, I won't get you. <laughs> and this is another balcony. It's so nice. Don't know what they're building, but you can see the ocean. This is the front, that's the gate. But this is the tour, you guys. Hey you guys, I'm just checking in. It's 6.41, May the 8th, it's the same day, Sunday. And I just came from the um, breathing test, because I'm not gonna say it, the test that's already paid, pulmonologist test, and I blew off the chart, so I got the good news that I'm all clear. My hemo did drop it. When I was in the States, it was 13.5, now it's 12.9. But I still passed or whatever, and I'm ready to do surgery. She asked if I wanted to do surgery tomorrow, which is Monday, but I said no because my mom is flying in Monday night, and she wants to be here, so I'm going to stick with May 10th, which so is So, I finished all my tests. Um... In the quote she gave me, she said all three tests was $100. Only two of them was $100, and then one was $68. Well, we'll say $78 because we had to pay to skip the line. So I just went to the store, and I will insert the clip of the, of the market I went to. It's Oli, Ola, Ole, um, whatever. And it's kind of like Walmart. But I had got some razors because I didn't make it to the wax people because of my car. I got some gel because I need the ladies damn edges. A red ball and some socks, I think. Yep, some socks. And something else in this bag. What else did I get? Oh, and a comb. A little comb for my edges. And that's it, you guys. Today has been a long day. Um, I'm probably gonna go to sleep, read a book, go to sleep, stay in my room. And that's it. I'll pick you guys up tomorrow or the next day because it's nothing really going on tomorrow. Lines. I guess this, this is their Walmart. It's Oli or Ola. Ole. We think that's what it is. We don't know. Ole. Hey, you guys. I said I wasn't going to pick you guys up no more, but I just got a call from Manny, who is my doctor's assistant, who is saying that. I'm having surgery tomorrow morning, which I was crying a little bit because even though I was coming here by myself, my mom, I told you guys that my mom was surprising me she was going to come, but she's not coming until her flight doesn't land until Tuesday at 1 a.m. So I had my mind set on her being here like when I wake up or her being in a recovery house just near. So the fact that she's not going to be here made me a little nervous. And when I kept asking if I could push it back to Tuesday, keep Tuesday, he said, no, mommy, no Tuesday. Tomorrow, tomorrow you go. So I'm a little nervous, you guys. So because I'm having surgery tomorrow, I want to show you what I'm packing. This, I'm taking my book bag. Well, it's my daughter's, but she let me hold it. I'm taking my neck pillow wound dressing, my safe with my money in it, a portable charger, my passport, all my paperwork and stuff, the pills that I will be needing, morning sickness, well, it's a motion, I said morning, motion sickness, but uh, it's for nausea, so I'm going to take it, a couple snacks, uh, crystal lights, 
I'm going to take four chucks. I think somebody told me that they have chucks, but I'm going to take chucks. I'm going to take the gall wrap. I probably only need that because I'm only staying one night, so I'll just take that. I'm taking insurers. My silicone, my silicone tape. I'm going to take, because I don't have any tape, but I think a wound dressing will do, but I'm going to take this just in case I need tape. Medication, again. Gloves. I'm just going to take some out of this. I'm about to take a picture in my before, so you guys can see what I look like before, and now I'm going to take it after. My backboard, my bobby pillow, or my BBL pillow, my ad board, the phone, extension cord, my other slipper for my JJ. Pads for my wound. But if I use my pads, I might not need the rest of that stuff. I took two of these just in case. My compression socks, a nightgown, lotion, light saw, my robe, and a t shirt. So this is what I'm taking, you guys. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, and I am going to take my pen and pad so I can write everything down. So I won't forget to tell you guys anything. So please say a prayer for me. By the time you guys see this, I would have already been done surgery, but still say a prayer for a speedy recovery then. And I'll pick you guys up when I get there in the morning. Oh, this is me the night before surgery, May the 8th at 1030. See the stomach, the muffin top, the roll, the bra roll. My bed is a nice size or whatever, but you see the no hips, you guys? Like, I have no hips. None at all.